Wait. Where have you been? Oh, there you are. Sorry I'm late. Merry Christmas 2022. It is sometime between November 27th and December 1st. Wrong! December 3rd! But, regardless of me being late, it is now officially time for Christmas to commence. Ooh. For those of you who are new and have not seen this yet here on the grab bag of whimsy, we like to go through the Christmas ornament things every year, every weekend, if possible, barring any form of a delay in the schedule, to talk about three wonderful, beautiful, magnificent, magical, glorious, whimsitastical ornaments that you may enjoy me sharing with you about. Christmas is a fun time for everyone, especially because of all the wintry wonder and all of the snow that never happens in Oklahoma. Accuracy? That is why I'm wearing this apt, inappropriately themed sweater, because no, it is not raining, and no, there is no snow, just like there's no snow outside. This day, it is in the 70s. It doesn't make sense. And also, Oklahomans, you don't know how to handle winter at all. Your version of snow is ice, or a spit, or sand. Merry Christmas! But I digress. I have three wonderful ornaments for you this evening, having to do with the inappropriate theme of weather. I mean, snow. Probably snowmen, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. It is getting hot in here already, and I just started. Oh, how I long for snow, how I dream for snow. Not the inappropriate amount of snow, but the type of snow that is nice to make snowmen with. Snowmen like this one, who has a really creepy face. He almost looks sad. Look at that, focus on his face. It is weird, but I will have to get curtains. Curtains are needed. It is very difficult to make videos with the inappropriate types of light. Hmm. Creepy snowman. Better. Takes away from the lustrousness of the tree of Christmasness, but you can see his face now. He has a wreath. Man, everything looks yellow. And he's got a random side stocking. I don't know why. And it looks like it's sewed into him. Who made this? Snowmen don't have sewn things into them. And he's got these nice blue gloves. Creepy smile, creepy nose. He almost looks like he's about to cry. Why are you sad? Looks like a tongue right there, which I don't understand why this scarf, then upside down, looks like a tongue. It's kind of creepy. So is he a zombie snowman? I don't know. But he does look like something that came out of a Tim Burton movie. Goodbye, creepy snowman. Well, my longing for snow has led me to this wonderful looking snowflake string of bead things. I don't know where this one came from. I think that my wife made this at some point in time. I just saw it and it called out to me, it beckoned to me. One with its loop-de-loop -loop ribbon right there. Loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop -loop ribbon. Um, also with the fantastical beads, the beads. The fantastical and honestly kind of pokey beads right here at the top. You can't see it, but literally it has stabbed me about three or four different times. I don't think it has left a splinter because I don't know what a frost splinter would be called at all. A shard of sadness, spindle of sorrow, pokey thing that brings despair. And it reminds me of a story when I was wee but a child, a wee but a lad, a wee but a young one, um, I had a weird obsession with beads, these, these things. Specifically, there was this weird cookie tin that looks like cookies that nobody would really actually want to eat. They're the ones you dip in coffee that all grandmas have. That was full of these random bead things that kind of look like these silver bits right here. And for some reason, when I was a kid, I don't know how or why it was like given to me from one of my crafty aunts or from my grandmother who was no longer crafty or something. And I would just 
just stick my whole hand. I mean, this this thing was like, felt like it was like as big around as my my head. This this big thing, and I would just stick my hands in there and go. And I don't know why. I thought it was charming. And there were metal beads, and there were glass beads, and there were plastic little spindly beads that, if you stack them on top of each other, going from a big one to a small one, it would make a small little Christmas tree. And I really wish I never would have gotten rid of that big old tin of beads because I probably would be making a lot of different Christmas crafts right about now. <sighs> Man, childhood was fun. So there's this, and crafty things brings me to my next ornament, and that is this one, this wonderful painted snowman by the great Sam Wiley, not Dr. Wiley, Sam Wiley. Dr. Wiley is a bad guy. Sam Wiley is a good guy. He painted this uh, a special, special snowman who does not look creepy and does not have a zombified uh, sock on the side of him, but he did so with, I think, acrylic paints, because I think he does things with acrylics, but I like it. It's snowing. It's, again, not creepy. It also has a wonderful little scarf and all of these little coal things with a carrot nose. And so this in the back, he did a little, hey, this is who this is from and where and why. So it says, Sam's Stones BFT. BFTSC. Ah, there's a code. Best friendly Thanksgiving so close. <gasps> no, it is best friends together Santa Claus. Are you friends with Santa Claus, Sam? I'm assuming that's a 21. Sam, you'll have to leave comments below to let me know if that is in fact the number 21 for 2001 when you painted this wonderful piece of mastery. This is a fantastic ornament that will make its life and its wishes and its dreams onto the magic tree of Christmasness, and I shall enjoy the entire process throughout. Well, Merry Christmas! We're so excited to start this new adventure of Christmas tree ornament things on this advent, even if I'm not wearing a Christmas sweater, even if it's not snowing outside, it is still the most festive and the most joyous season ever. So, have a freaking Merry Christmas and a freaking Happy Holidays, and this pink thing is really freaking me out right now. Whew! And I'll see you guys next week.